Yeah, uh, real quick, we got some keys for tonight's game as uh, as the Falcons, it looked like the uh, Crusaders won the toss, they elected to defer, so the Crusaders, are, or excuse me, the uh, Falcons are going to win, or they're going to go, they, they're going to receive, they're going to go from right to left, and uh, one of the things that the, the Crusaders, probably their main thing to do tonight is they want to neutralize Dylan Hare because... Last week, Hare rushed for 297 yards on 16 carries, four touchdowns. He threw for another 250 yards, 18 of 14 passing, and three touchdowns in all. Hare and on oh, second good down, run, just good run. just go straight at it again and again. And now Falcons wedge it out of there, and that is Lackman. Good run by uh, by Lackman, and it was just you know. Right now, the Falcons are coming out and saying, "Okay." We know you're big and tough. We're going to just line up and, you know, test your metal. We're coming straight. He's not even on the depth chart tonight. And the handoff to Harris. And this time the Falcons will stop him. Nothing there for Harris as the middle of the line rises up. And leading the tacklers is that solid freshman, Carson Lubering, 6'1", 225 pounds, as he makes the stop. And no gain on the play. down from the Falcon, 34. They have to get it to the 10, so it's a first and 24. And on first and 24, they hand off to Harris, and he gets turned around by the middle of the line. <laughs> Leading the tacklers, number nine, Bryson Varner, the sophomore defensive end, 6'3", 225 pounds. For the Luther North Crusaders, and you can hear the Falcon faithful urging the defense to make one more big stop. Hollis, quick pass, tunnel screen underneath as they get it out to the wide receiver, and he is knocked down, well short of the first down, got inside the 25 to let the 22, but right now, they need to get this big fourth and uh, 13 from the Falcon 23. And Hollis back to pass, he sets, plenty of time, throws down the middle, it's tapped in and complete. Off the hands of the intended receiver at about the eight yard line, would have been enough for the first down, going up high and getting a hand on it was Vance Gross. Five side. This is a third down snap for Lutheran North. Hollis, the quarterback. Here come the, the Falcons on a blitz and a pitch out wide left to Gross. And Gross turns it up and he's not going to get anywhere. The Falcons wrap him up right at the he line lost. of scrimmage. Bryson Varner made the play. They've not uh, gone away anywhere. They just need to get that offense on track. Gross in motion out to the right side. Back to pass is Dakari Hollis, and now he is in trouble. The Falcons nearly get him. Back to the 50. Lost the ball. Lost the ball. ball. And it's picked up. Holden Brand to the 30, 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Falcons. Well, Hollis is a sophomore, and last week he threw three picks, and he got he got uh, in a little trouble. He's kept backpedaling, kept moving back. The Falcons got defense got to him around the the 40, the uh, 40 of Lutheran North, and the ball was stripped. Hollis went down, and uh, Brand just happened to pick it up there and took it about 38 yards. Snap is back. It's high. Closser gets it down. Laughlin drills it long, and it is good. 21 seconds ago in the first quarter. Blair Oaks 7. And we from North nothing on MidnightSportsOnline.com. We will return to the Falcon Athletic Complex in Wardsville after this timeout. We're on a damn mission. We're on a mission. Time out to our different goal. Zakari Hollis, the quarterback, will take the snap. Moves hey. gross in motion. Aiden, the... Uh, Brother of the younger of the uh, injured Elijah Luckett, the uh, running back, the, the injured running back who will be out for the season for the Falcons. And a big play made there. Jackson Marshall comes flowing through and throws Harris down for uh, throws Gross down for a loss, and about four yards on the play, and that will do it for the first quarter of play. One quarter in the books uh, to the Falcon Athletic Complex. The Falcons take advantage of a turnover, and they lead it here after one quarter. It's Blair Oaks 7 and Lutheran North nothing on MidmoSportsOnline.com. 7 and nothing Falcons. Hollis, the quarterback, takes the snap, hands to Harris. Harris bounces the outside. The Falcons wrap him up. Got a couple of yards, got it to about the five-yard line. Holding Brand, among others, there on the stop for the Falcons, along with Brady Kerperin. 
Linebackers on the stop. Harris with a gain of two yards on the play. Now, no matter what happens on this. Gross and Harris in the backfield. Two-man backfield behind Hollis. And they hand to Gross. He's wrapped up and down he goes. Right in the middle. Lubering there on the stop for the foul. I don't think he got anything. In there. Just inside the five-yard line. If he got anything, he got maybe a yard. It'll bring up third down and goal now from about the four-yard line. Harris to the right of Hollis, the quarterback. Hollis takes the snap. Swing pass right side. Harris, the Falcons are there, and down he goes back at the five-yard line. Harris caught it, but th there was a host of Falcons over there, but he had slipped down. He's having some terrible time with his footing out there. Alec Weber leading the tacklers. Big fourth down play. Falcons fans on their feet. Hollis with Harris to his left. Takes the snap back to pass. Looking to his right. Looking, looking. Now throws as a man open. And it is incomplete. 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 The man was there. The pass came in a little low and outside. A couple of Falcons also kind of dove in front of that pass. And may have, uh, Somebody may have got a hand on it. Let's get it back. First down and 10. As Hare... Under center on first down, hands off up the middle as the Falcons come out of the wishbone. And driving it up the middle, looks like that's going to be Brady Cooperin with his uh, first carry. And four-yard gain, and uh, once again, they pile drive it up the middle. Is that Cooperin again? Now check it, it might have been Bryson Varner with his carry. Yeah, yep. Bryson Varner. Third and one, Hare. In trouble. Throws the ball out. Has a man. man open. It's caught. Down the sidelines. It's Hall. Hall is going to be marked out of bounds. Where are they going to mark him out at the 40-yard line? <laughs> that will do it for the first half. First half uh, winds up uh, with the Blair Oaks Falcons. A 40-yard fumble return for a touchdown. And uh, that is all the scoring we've had so far tonight here at the Falcon Athletic Complex in Wardsville as uh, they are getting all they want from the Lutheran North Crusaders. Nolan Laughlin to kick off for the Falcons as we are underway in the second half. It's a low line drive kick that will wobble back to about the 20 yard line. Receiver trying to go across the field and the Falcons throw him down. Holden Brand got him back about the 26 yard line. Was... On second down and 10 as Hollis wants to pass. Here's a little flip out to the outside and a nice play made by the oh, Falcons. Oh, pop loose late and let's say the Falcons got it. Falcons got it. Got it. Back at the 20 yard line. The Falcons pick it up. And that's going to be right. Yeah. Look like that might have been. Here, the quarterback. Moves a man in motion. That's Hagner across the formation. Fake pitch. And there goes. Look out. Hare. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. Classic Dylan Hare. As he fakes the pitch, cuts back up the middle. And hey, diddle, diddle. Nobody touches him as he goes into the end zone from about uh, 17, yards, 17 yards. Dylan Hare untouched into the end zone as 13-0 Falcons. Laughlin out to attempt the extra point. Snap is back. The ball is down. The kick is up. It's high. It's long. And it is good. 10.54 to go in the third quarter. It is Blair Oaks 14. And Lutheran North nothing on MidmoSportsOnline.com. Fourth and four. Dakari Hollis, the quarterback. Michael Harris, the running back. Three receivers wide right, single receiver left. Hollis back to pass. Down the middle, pass tipped and almost intercepted. The pass falls incomplete. Brady Kirpin cut onto the lot of Van Hook and nearly came away with the interception, but he wound up knocking it down. The Falcons once again stop Lutheran North on a crucial fourth down play. Third down and 10 for the Falcons from their own 21-yard line. Clock stops, 7.28 to go, third quarter. Hagner in motion out to the left side. Hare rolling to his left. Now looks back to his right and throws and has Hall. Hall with one in down the sideline. 30, 35, 40. Cuts back 45, 50. And he's in Lutheran North territory down to the 45-yard line. Hall caught that little pass out there. They had plenty of room to run, pick up the first down, had a few blockers down the field, allowed him to get across midfield. North loves to come downhill on defense, and sometimes that can bite you. Yeah, if you if you bite too hard, here's here's Hall on a. Or and here is there. Look he's out! On the he's he's on. Go. He's on. on. Ten, five, touchdown! Fucking Dylan Hare faked the handoff, cut it up, gave a little a couple guys a little okey doke, and away he ran. 
45 yards for the touchdown, and the Falcons take a three-score lead with 7.06 to go in the third quarter. Falcons 20, Lutheran North nothing. That time, that seam opened up right in the middle of the line, and Dillon was able to take it. So we will take this break with the Falcons up. 7.06 to go in the third quarter. Falcons 20, and Lutheran North nothing at MidmoSportsOnline.com. Uh, they about three. Yeah, they put it right at the 40, so. Second and seven. Hollis back to pass. Looks right. Pumps. Now he's going to be forced out of there. Falcons chase him. Hollis. Oh! Intercepted. Oh, Jake Hagner had that right in his bread basket and couldn't come away with it. I had it already marked down as an interceptor for Hagner. It hit him in the hands. With three receivers wide to the left side. Lackman in the wing to the right side. As Hare calls for the snap. And he's going to take it himself up the middle. And there he goes to the 25, 30, 25, 40. He's in the clear. 50, 45, 40, 45, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Falcons. 83 yards for the touchdown. And the Falcons break it wide open with 546 to go in the third quarter. 26 to nothing. Well, at halftime, I said that the... Lutheran North Crusaders have been able to successfully bottle up. Dylan Hare, only 13 yards on nine rushing attempts. That's his third touchdown of the half, of the second half. 158 yards rushing now for Dylan Hare. Laughlin on to attempt the extra point. Snap back, ball down. The kick is up. It's high, it's long, and it is good. 5.46 to go in the third quarter. Blair Oaks 27, Lutheran North nothing. On MidmoSportsOnline.com. And we will return to the Falcon Athletic Complex in Wardsville after this timeout on MidmoSportsOnline.com. Keto unlocked the end zone. As here comes a band around the right side. Stevenson is hammered down to the ground. Holding Brand just blew up. We make a Doug Blaha just blew up his man and blew up the small running back Stevenson. Martez Stevenson, the freshman, got, a, got an ugly greeting there from the Blair Oaks 18 yard line. Hollis. Takes the snap, back he, go, back he goes. Still looking, still looking, here comes the rush as he's being forced out of there. Throws on the run and the pass is gonna be intercepted in the end zone! Intercepted in the end zone, what a play that was! A diving interception. That was Hacker. I thought so, well he missed on one earlier. That was right in the bread basket. He made up for that. Oh my! That was a diving interception over a diving receiver to pull that one off. What a play that was. This lead was set up initially because, well, mainly because of the defense. They got a defensive touchdown. Defense got a turnover. There it is. And here's a slant pattern to Weberg, and Weberg is out across the 35 to the 37 yard line. Give him a gain of. Well, they had well, about uh, 20 they had yards on the play. 23 yards. 23. Of sorts. Hall off to Lackman. Lackman out of the backfield, and he's going to be very close to picking up five yards on that game. Well, if Lackman can start picking up yardage, then the Falcons can start really controlling the clock. Hare, the quarterback, with Lackman behind him. They check the sidelines as the play clock goes under 14 seconds. Hare takes the snap, and he options to the left side, turns it up, and there he goes again! 50, 45, 40, they'll never catch him! 10, 5, touchdown! Fifty-eight yards. The senior has turned it on. Here, long count, hands off, and no, he's going to keep it himself, and the hair is going to go in for two. Well, he caught his breath just in time to go in for the two-point conversion. Four minute forty-seven to go, in third quarter. Blair Oaks thirty-five, Lutheran North nothing on MidcoastSportsOnline.com. Play clock under five. Hair hands to Lackman, and Hayden's got the first down He's inside the 10. He's dragging tacklers outside <laughs> down to the six-yard line. They had to push Lackman out of bounds. He was still going forward, but they were pushing him sideways, so they got him out around the six, but not before he picked up the first down. And the Falcons are now going into the victory formation with the clock at 55 seconds. You know, they, they were asked to do a lot, and uh, they were the old rubber band defense. They they bent, they stretched, but they did not break. And uh, they stayed in it, got a couple of big... 
Oh, somebody's playing the, playing the harpsichord up here. Uh, got a couple of big plays. One in the first half to return the fumble for a touchdown. Got another fumble early in the start of the half to, uh, to get the ball back down deep in, inside the 20, inside the Lutheran North 20, and everybody's taking off. It's, that's it. There won't be another play tonight. The clock marks down three, two, one. That's the end of the game. And the Blair Oaks Falcons are going to go 2-0 on the season as they beat the powerhouse in Class 3 from St. Louis, the Lutheran North Crusaders, by a surprising score of 35 to nothing. We really did not see this coming tonight. That's for sure. The Falcons break it open late, and they go away a 35 to nothing winner. We'll be back to take a look at the scoring and the second half of play and uh, get you caught up on anything that's been going on here as the Falcons go to 2-0 in the season with your North Cats 2-1-1. We'll be back with more from the Falcon Credit Complex after this. 